Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video, we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of a cantilever beam with uniformly varying loading. The beam is of length L and the loading starts at zero at the free end and uniformly varies to the fixed end and the value of the loading at the fixed end is W per unit length. So, we will first take a section at a distance small x from the free end. So, this is our section x. And we will calculate the shear force and bending moment at this section. So, let's draw this section here. This is the B and this is our section X. Now, we will calculate the shear force at this section. So, SFX will be the loading of this small triangle. So if this is W1, the loading at section X is the area of this triangle. So half base is X and height is W1. Now we have to calculate W1 based on this similar triangle. So this triangle and this small triangle are similar triangle. So W is height by length which is L and height here is W1 so W1 by its base which is X so W1 is WX by L so this is half to X into WX by L so WX is square by 2L and the nature of the force is left up right down so it's positive so this is positive so we got the shear force equation now we have to calculate the bending moment at the section X so bending moment is the load total load of this section into the CG distance from this section. So you all know that if this is CG, it cuts at in 2 is to 1 ratio. So the horizontal distance will be, this one will be x by 3 and this distance will be 2x by 3. So the bending moment is total load of the triangle which is nothing but this w x square by 2 l into the cg distance this distance which is x by 3 so w x cube by 6 l and the nature of the force nature of the moment at this section is like this so moment is like this hogging moment negative so this will be negative so we got the shear force equation and bending moment equation now we have to calculate the shear force at x equal to 0 which will be equals to 0 and at x equal to l that is the fixed end it will be equal to w into L square by 2L so WL by 2 you see this is uh, the equation varies with x square so this will be a parabolic curve and this is positive shear force this is WL by 2 and now bending moment at x equals to 0 is 0 and bending moment at x equal to L that is the fixed end equal to minus W L cube by 6 L minus W L square by 6 and you see the equation varies with x cube so it will be a cubic curve and the sign is negative so the head is this is 0 
and here L square by 6. That's all. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. See you in the next video.